X minus one, a gun for a dinosaur. From the far horizons of unknown come to describe tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of the future, adventures in which you and I live in a million could be years, a thousand well be worlds. Tonight's story, A Gun for a Dinosaur. Dark background, glasses clink, thinkers well more. Rivers, ah, just some whiskey, please. No soda, soda, bartender. Hi, right, Mr. Rivers. Rivers, chuckles. Good heavens, no. I have been to America for some, been in America for some time, but not that long. Still in the room. A toast. Well, to find out this, huh? Rivers, well, now, just a moment, Mr. Sigmund. I wouldn't take you hunting. Late Masonic dinosaur. Sigmund, why not? Rivers, how much do you weigh? About nine, nine stone? Sigmund, 130 pounds. Rivers, yeah, I thought so. It's not heavy enough, Sigmund. But you, but your advertisement, you said safaris arranged to any, any polling period. Rivers, well, I'll take you to any period in Jurassic. I'll get you a shot at your ephoral. Even even every mammoth or master on, on you have fi- they have fine heads, but I jolly will not take you to the Jurassic or Cretaceous. You're just too small. Sigmund, well, what's my weight got to do with it? It is well. Look here, old boy. Why do you think you're gonna gonna shoot the, those dinosaurs with? Sigmund, well, it is well. Look here. In this case, to my, it, that's my own gun, a Continental 600. It suits a pair of Nitro Express cartridges of the size of bananas. It's designed for knocking down elephants. Not just wounding them, but knocking them. Base over apex. Sigmund. Well, now, I get, I, now I've had guns. There's, oh, look, I've been guiding hunting parties for many, for over 20 years. I've never known a man who's, Size could handle a, the, the, your size could handle the six naught naught. I'll knock him over. Sigmund, but people have killed elephant with lighter guns. Even a 37, 65, 75. There's the old yes, but consider an elephant weighs, well, let's say about four to six ton. You're planning to shoot reptiles weighing up to three, four times as much as elephant. Now I tell you, Mr. Sigmund. I don't take anyone, Hunty Dinosaur. You can't handle a six naught naught. Look, let's pour another drink. I'll tell you why. Rivers. No, wait, you see, I went into the partnership with Ray Jar about five years ago. I call him, tell, call him that because he's the hereditary monarch of Japan. You mean, that means nothing, of course. We play, both wanted to be a bit of, do a bit of hunting then. Africa all played out, too civilized now. So we've heard of Professor Fruscari, time machine at Washington University. We caught the next planes to St. Louis. The foundation, the ministry, and the machine had worked out an arrangement, bidding a time between scientific parties and hunters who wanted to try their luck, a pre-stock it game. Hunters paid for the nose, of course, to support the project. Well, it's about that. A fifth safari that the courtier James showed up. He's what you chaps call a playboy, a big bloke, handsome in a way, florid. Beginning to turn into fat, he was on his fifth wife, fourth wife. He showed up at the office with a blonde, assured it assumed it was his fourth Mrs. James. He left her, he had office, and corrected my assumption. Jane Bunny, oh no, she's not my wife. My wife is in Mexico, I think. Getting a divorce, but Bunny, he would like to go along, Steve Rivers. I'm sorry, we don't take ladies. Not to late Mosotic. James, if he wants to go, she'll go. She skis and flies in my airplane. So why shouldn't she? Rivers, there's there are enough risks at 80 million, five, 85 million BCE. I'm sorry, but it's against the firm's policy. 
Jane, now look here, I'm paying you a lot of money. I'm entitled, because you can't hire me to do anything against my best judgment. Now, if it's, that's how you feel, give another guy, James. i say, all right, all right. But let me tell you, Jivers, I ended up with a, me and my telling him to get out of the office or I'll throw him out. I think, sadly, all that loan in money that James would have paid me when came in, I never said I know Augustus Houtzfinger and a slim bold chap with glasses. Simsaminger. Mr. Villers, I don't know what to think. I'm here under false pretenses. I really do not know much about Dorman, and I'm probably too scared to death when I see a real dinosaur. Villers travels. Well, most of us are frightened. At first, my oh, it doesn't sit, doesn't do to speak of it. I submit, Ringer. Well, you see, I've always run a grocery store till my uncle died, and, well, i got a little, great deal of money now. Rivers, uh-huh. Fits a ring, a ring there. Uh, building a new house and engaged, you know. Getting married, uh, oh, well, I maintained to bang a dinosaur head. I'm determined to hang a dinosaur head over my, uh, my fireplace. A dying attempt, Rivers sighs. Fits a ring, a custodian, I think. A woman with a big haunted head and a frill over the neck, isn't it? Where's well, huh? You think, what do you think about that? You know, if you put a seven foot tricycops tricy, to the small living room, there's apt to be no room left for you or anything else. Or something like, I know it's ridiculous, but I'm determined to do something big for once. Since you know no more real game hunting, I'm going to shoot a dinosaur and hang his head over my mantle. I'll never be happy otherwise. Rivers. No, at any rate, so Roger and I decided to make it to the middle of Croatius. That's about, oh, eight million years ago. It's the best period for dinosaur in Missouri. We drove Hesselinger into the country to let him try the six. Nought, nought. Hesselinger is rather heavy. Rivers, look. You look out. There's quite a kick. Hesselinger, don't. Can't you fire it prone? Rivers, oh, not a gun that big. It's not big enough. That's not enough. Give. You break your shoulder, all right. Take the safety off. Where's something like this? Gunshot. Has something like racks of falling backward and hitting the ground. Where's hair? Take my hand. I'll help you get up. Here's something like shake and struggle to raise. I thank you. I think I've better try something smaller. Here's the night where you took a fancy to my Manchester 70th chamber. A free... Seven, four, five Magnum cartridges, courage, cartridge. I need a little light for an elephant, a very definitely light for dinosaur. But you were in a hurry. And then, of course, just before we were ready to trick, Jason showed up and apologized for insulting me. He had run in with a girl he had wanted to get along. Go along. So there we off to, uh, there we off on safari. To the safari. Are you ready, gentlemen? Sasa Vinga. You are? Yes, I suppose so. Where's well now, Mr. Versaminga? You bet my, I met my partner, Roger Jim Powell. Roger, how do you do, sir? Versaminga, how do you do? Roger, well, shall we get cracking after all? Are you, Mrs. Versaminga? Mr. Winger, things Winger. Mr. James, Mr. Versaminga. Thank you, James, impatient. Let's get going. Roger, that's all set. Rivers, we'll slam the hatch and off we go. Hatch slammed and locked. Hesselinger, what happened? Rivers, oh, nothing. Till the force field is built up. Time machine hums. Rivers, ah, oh, there he goes, he goes. Time machine hums louder. Continued. James, what happened to the lights? Rivers, well, there's no current uh, while we're in transmission. Rivers, Hemsinger, I don't feel well. Rivers, ah, this is your touch of vertigo. I should have worried about it, James. Look. Why do you shoot? Why do you shoot for? I mean, the dinosaur. What is the best shot? Rivers. Well, you don't try for his brain, you know. I don't have one. Any? Well, I'm not. Well, to be exact, they're like little bump by the size of the tennis ball on top of their spines. You got not like to hit it when you're embedded into a six foot skull. Roger. Try for the heart. They have big hearts over a hundred pounds. An exploding shell and the heart will slow them down at least. Oh, I see. 
Jane, why do we have to go so far for game? Why shouldn't couldn't we just go about fifty years and shoot lions in Africa? Really as well, the machine won't go work more recently than a hundred years, thousand years ago. What rivers? Why, James? Why rivers? Well, oh look, look, I'm no financial dimension expert in the subject, but it's something to do that we call power and paradox. You know, if people could go back in recent times, they might do something to, to affect history. They kill their own grandfather. You know, and there's also some kind of taboo about sending people back the same time again. Oh, it's paradoxes. Wouldn't so, wouldn't have them. And so go, so go, what would happen? Rivers, I'm not sure, but the university isn't taking chances. They've got about a billion years to cover. They won't run out of it. They won't run out of errors. Time machine hums so low and loudly. Rivers, hello, here we go. Now cheers. Huh? Hum with a big crunch, a time machine landing. Rivers, here we go. Well, well, that's done it. April 24th. Nine five eighty five million years BC. Now then, be careful. Eat, keep the safety on your gun, and don't shoot unless I give the word. James, unhappy. Why should we have to wait for you, Rivers Stone? Because I'm responsible for everything you could do, especially if something goes wrong. Casual. I say, Roger, open the door, will you? Open your door, Rivers and mates. In this period. The tying chamber materializes, top of rocky, rocky rise. At west, you'll see the arm of the education is Kansas Sea that rises across Missouri, a big sweet swamp. There are the cedropods live. The east, the tie slopes up the pattern. It's good for the cedropods. The finest thing about the cedropods creatures is the climate. It's balmy like the South Sea Islands, not so muggy as the Jurassic. Oh, we sent the time chamber back off and looked about. It was a screen with a dwarf magnolium and spadoon all over, down to the walls of the sea. Trinades and wild willows grew, while the uplands was covered with screw pine and wind cloaks. Yeah, well, it's not ruddy pirate. I'm not a ruddy poet, but I can appreciate a beautiful scene. I was looking through the haze and sniffing the air. Bang! Two loud gunshots. James, I got him, I got him. Rivers, what's the devil? James, did you see it there? James, Rivers, confirm it, you idiot. I told you not to shoot without a word from me. Oh, what happened? Roger, I know to win my mind. Blinded oil. One out of the corpse. Mr. James gave his both bells missed. Rivers, now look here, James. One of the biggest dangers in the safari is trigger happy suburbs who not get, who get pagan. Okay. You've got, not got to shoot unless you're told. Do you understand? James, the fight. Who do you think you are to tell me when to shoot my own game? Rivers, now look here, we're personally. You don't shoot off your ammunition before the trip is over. The gun won't be available in case available. The gun won't be available in case of a pinch. And certainly, if you empty both barrels, what will happen if a big tri-firebod would charge before you could reload? And finally, you're not supposed to shoot anything in sight. Is that clear? Jade, all right, all right. Very well now, then. Last task is fresh meat. No, it says, I told you, Hesavina wanted a pterotopian head. James is sitting on a pterosaur. Everybody would think he was a shot the most dangerous game. In fact, he's a pterosaurus. is overrated, but everybody read about the pterosaurus lizard. And while he does, had the biggest head of the tripods. Tripods. Oh, I will snap you up. He gets the chance, no fear. We started off searching with the meat. Then Raj and I put the mem- sebes in front. We tell you it's so why they are set the first shot. Well, this is true, but another reason is they always tipping and falling with their guns caught. If a guy was in front, 
He'll get shot. Jungle back to background. Animals chatter. Roger. Ah, oh, boneheads. James Ware. Roger. See? Crunching over there. Feeding on those cyanides. About the size of man. Hensity that they look intelligent. Roger. No, not likely. It bulge in the head is solid bone. Quickly now, men. Hang on there, James. You had your shot for the day. Hold your fire until him Hoselinger shoots. James unhappy. Sure, sure, sure. Roger, Roger, Roger. All right, go ahead, Mrs. Mr. Hootsalina. Hootsalina, don't matter which one. Doesn't matter which one. Rivers, no. Here, try the one with the rock. By the rock. There's a clear, good, clear shot. Well, take, well, take your safety off. Hootsalina, oh, take of safety. Rivers, go ahead. James, after a pause. Impatient. Well, Shivers, shh. James, oh, I'm nuts. I've had enough of this. Rivers, James, don't. Big bang. Two loud gunshots interrupt. James, triumphant. I got him clean right through the heart. First shot. How's that? Rivers, cool. I thought you were going to give Harrisinger the first crack. It's his turn. James, well, I'm afraid, well, I waited. Took so long, I thought you'd gotten buck fever. Rivers, friends. Right, quiet but firm. Very well. If this is sort of thing happens once again. Well, we'll leave you at the camp next time we go out. With this. Alright, so next couple of days we trekked around the neighbourhood. And then I head over to the Cerebrod Swamp. Over to the west, we staked out along the edge of the lake, watching a big beggar out in the swamp. Waving his head about. They're the big ones. They look something like the Botosaur. Foghorn like corn or the Segopod. Can't we shoot him? Civilization wouldn't. Jay, why not? There's well, there's no point to it. You don't support him. Look, if I would kill you, if it would kill you, run in the water, he sinks. Then he won't be recovered. You killed one on land. Well, the other tr- Are you trophies that little head on top of that long neck? You wouldn't bring that whole beast back because he weighs 30 tons or more. What's the name of the museum? In New York, there's one. Well, it's yes, but they senated body 48. The early Caracas with a 50 caliber machine gun. They went two solid months hacking and sewing the carcass apart. And hauling it to the time machine. I know the chap on the project. He still has nightmares in which he smells the composed dinosaur. We also had to kill a dozen big triceratops who came in for the party. Then they they had them lying around, lying around too. They lost three men. Roger whispers from off. Veggie, dumb duck, dumb bit, dumb bit, duck bill. Jane, where? Where are they? There is up there at the shoreline. Now keep your voices down. You see, with the crest of the back of the net heads. Who's the digger? Mr. Rivers, I have been thinking over what you said about those heads. If I will get one of those duck bills, I will be satisfied. I'll look big enough of my mental, wouldn't it? Rivers chuckled. I'm sure it would. I'm sure of it, Mr. Old Boy. Well, let it be off, Roger. You wait here with Mr. James. Shouldn't take to us long. Rivers, Holt and I kept along the shoreline, firing the range of the duck bills. I said to go, I think I can make the shot from here. I'll be ready in a minute. My shot is lo- shoot loose. Bang! Distant gunfire. Duck bills and other animals panic and run. I don't know. He's getting me. I don't want, I didn't get a shot. Rivers wearily, I'm afraid, Mr. James, you'll try and fire both barrels again. Hosanigo, James, what's the second time you spoiled my shot? 
I ought to, Jane, don't be a fool. I didn't get let them wander into camp, standing everything flat. Roger lied to, to James. There's no danger of that. You can see that the water is deep offshore to rivers. It's just that one odd trick I have Mr. James can't see any animal without shooting. There's an if you did get close, all I have to do is throw a stick of fire at it. They're perfectly harmless. James, well, how was I to know? Rivers, I believe I mentioned it. James, well, what a... What are we on this miserable trip for, except to shoot things? Well, there are certain rules, you know. James, you call yourself hunters. I'm the one who's hitting anything. Well, now just a moment, old oh, man. You're behaving like a confounded skit. With more money than brains. I never know. Never should never brought you along, James. You, it's how you feel. Give us some food. I'll go back to the base by myself, Rivers. Now, don't be a big, big ass, and you can help. That's quite impossible. James, all right. I'll go alone. Move me off. I won't want to be, pollute your air with my presence. James turns it away. Roger, that's an attractive fault, Reggie. But we can't let him go. He'll get lost and starve. All right, I'll go after him. James. Rates, he stumbled along for several day, more days. James and his good behaviour were changed. On the 1st of May, we broke camp and headed north to the vales. Oh, it was hot and sticky. We were soon pinting and sweating like horses. When well, I picked up the smell of currying and heard the frum, frumming of the flies, flies from noisily. Rivers and rakes. We found a huge cut centre polyline lying dead in a little hollow on the edge of the corpse. You must have weighed six or eight tons alive. Hosea Nigger, why couldn't they have gotten him before he died? That would have made a darn good fine head. Rivers, look you up on your t- look on your toes, chaps. It's airport. We've been at his carcass is clearly probably nearby. James, how do you know? Rivers. You see how they high they, the hide been ripped off, the bones are sh- shattered. Let a try out fire pods will hang around in a, car- a carcass like this for weeks, gorging and then sleeping their heels off for days at a time. So, Hosanna, what do we do? Rivers, well, that's what we came in after. Came after. That's what we came after. Roger, you make Mr. James. We take the same food away and we parallel you 44 feet distant. Now keep your eyes open. We are heard to see in those woods unless you're right on top of him. There is the no eight. He pushed through the range of the corpse, looking for the huge flesh eater who's been at the carcass. I you could hear James and Roger pushing up ahead of my right. We were separated by the gully. We heard a noise about head on my on our left. Hosanna, what is it? Where is it all? Where is it? Where is I don't know. Take the safety off your gun. Oh, there it is. It's one of those boneheads. Where is Oh, well, you're not, they're not dangerous at any rate. Be careful, that tripod might have still been around. Bang, bang, two loud drum shots. Then it collapses. James, I got him, got him clean, Rivers, annoyed. Well, he, he, he's done it again. He shot the bonehead, James, of a sudden. I got him. Well, the angry, oncoming dinosaur. Roger, yells, get out, look out, pterosaur. Pterosaur. Pterosaur roars, close, long and deafening. Pulse. Pounding for the angry oncoming dinosaur. With us, the dinosaur heaved his head out of shrubbery just in front of us. The scientists can assist that the Rex is higher than a tri- triceratops, but I swear this is dinosaur was bigger than any Rex ever hatched. I must have stood 25 feet high, been 50 feet long. I could see big, bright eye. 
and six inch teeth. Sorry, it's knocks down trees, rivers. Wait, he's been sleeping off this last meal. James fired off his bow barrels over his head, a bonehead, and woke the Tyrannosaurus up. Saw up. Growl, lows, roar, low, growls, loudest. Saint Roger yells, Get back, get back, you fool. Yes, Roger can't, can't, can't get a shot, confound it. There goes the beast in the behind the first ferns. Hosinger yells, Hosinger, come back, your gun is too late for the beggar. With us, James came bolting back and panicked and blundered into Raja, sending both of them sprawling under the ferns. The dinosaur came after them and snapped them up. As the Zinger began to raise away, three gunshots Rivers. In the eight, he got off three shots through the beast's body with a little, with that little light gun. Dinosaur roars. Rivers, the brain swords whirled around and see what was stringing it. The jaws came open and the head swung up round and down again. As the got off one more shot and tried to leap to one side, to a side of continued its lunge and caught him in his jaw as he fell. Hussing a half scream fades away and trying to saw carries Hussing off. Roger, ready, ready. Rivers, stand clear. Gunshot, Roger. Roger, heart, heart's a bony chance. Gunshot, Rivers, no use. He, there he goes. Take a long shot. Rivers, disgusted. Gunshot, disgusted. Ah, missed him clean. Pete, pause on his zinger. Roger, well, that's the end. He stopped screaming. Did you notice? Rivers, yo, oh, yes. Well, why, I expect, I expect he best, we best track the beast. You might be dying. We should try to recover Rose Hosinger and Reigns. Roger, and here, uh, yes, there, nothing else to do. There's no, nothing, a bad show all around. Morning Bridge, Rivers. An hour later, we gave up and went back to the glade, looking very dismal. James, and where did you, have you two been? Rivers, we were occupied the late Mrs. Hosinger. Remember? James, you should have gone off and left me. Over those hunt things might have come along. It was that bad enough to lose one hunters through the, the, your stupidity. Rivers, what? Very sure. You put of us, you put us in front of you. So if anyone gets eaten, it's one of us. That's Rivers. Are you a stinking little swine? You, if you hadn't been the first class idiot, blowing those two barrels again. This never would have happened. Hosinger died trying to save your office life. I only wish he failed, James. Why, I ought to. Grunts. If, if effort behind. James punches Rivers. Rivers. Now then, my lad. I'm glad you did that. It gives me a chance of effort. I've been waiting for. James grunts in pain as Rivers punches James defeatedly till James falls into sand. Please now get up. I'll be glad to finish you off. James squirms in the sand, grabs rifle. James faints. Pants heavily. Good address. You won't finish anything. Everybody. You won't finish everybody off. You're right. Put your hands up, both of you. Rivers, put that gun away. Don't be an idiot. James, I don't let anyone. I won't let anyone do that to me. Rivers, you can't get away with murder. Jane, why not? We, there won't be much left of you after hit with 600 spent loads of shell. Nobody will prove anything. It can't hold you for murder 85 million years old. A statue of limitations, you know. Crunch as a dredger hits James in the head with rock. James groans. Sound. James collects into sound. Rivers, nice work, Roger, old boy. Roger, yes, gracious rock. Don't quite have the balance of a cricket ball, but it's a little hot, bit harder. What? Rivers, wait. Well, I suppose we tie this chap and take him back to the camp. Rivers, wait. When the time transition chamber finally arrived, we were all over one another getting into it. We dumped James in the corner 
and through the switches. Time machine hums. Jane, still deadly serious, menacing. You two should have killed, could have, should have killed me back there. Rivers, why? You don't have a particularly good, you don't have a particularly good head. Roger, equally dry. You wouldn't look, you didn't look at well, at all well. You wouldn't look at all well over a mantle. James, you can laugh, but I'd get you some day. Jen, Roger, chuckles to Rivers. Close, close quarters, isn't it? Jay, someday I'll find a way. I'll find a way and get off. It's got free too. Rivers, my dear chap, if there was some way to do it, I'll have you charged with hang up with his murder. Look, you, look, you be, you best get well soon. Let, get that well enough alone, James. No, no, I'll kill you, both of you. See him how your rivers, your cigarette, Roger. Roger, thanks. Rivers and rates. When we came to the bravest, we handed him his empty gun. Off he went. He paid everything off and found what he, he was broke. Rivers. And we came out into the present. He handed him his empty gun. Off he went. He paid it no, everybody off and found out he was, we were broke. We were quite lucky. A steel manufacturer turned up and wanted a mastodon head for his den. Well, we were staying in the laboratory of the university, waiting for the time chamber. Technician, he book his chap. A ferocious temporal fire physicist, watching his dolls and scoops. Scopes. Laboratory lab back, lab background, buzzing, beeping, gizmos. So it was built slowly, reaching a peak, just for the big explosion. Technician. Oh, by the way, Mr. Rivers, you just missed him. We really missed who? Technician, the last client of yours, Mr. James. Rivers chuckles. Well, that's good luck. What are you doing here? Technician, oh, he told, told me quite a tale. Said he lost his wallet back there. But he continued, it contains some very valuable papers. Rivers scoffs. Technician, I must have been valuable. Pay the university fee of $5,000 for the use of the chamber. He's on his way back there now. Where's back where? The technician. Well, he told us to send him back a few minutes before you arrived last time, but he could see himself drop the wallet. Rivers laughs. He's going to stand there and watch himself come out? Well, I says, yeah, but doesn't that create what you chaps call a paradox? What happens when, you, when a man tries to occupy the same time twice? Technician, well, we don't know. It's never been tried before. We tried to warn him, but he insisted. Yes, yes, I well, know, he's headstrong trap. So he wouldn't think his chance is just for sake of wallet. Be realize. Was he armed, technician? He had a 375 Express. Roger, 375, that's an odd. He knows it's too late for dinosaur. Well, yes, but it's not too late for a man, I say, Roger. You don't think Miss James is lurking around the bush back there till we show up? Again and playing the pot us and we step out. Roger, that's impossible. Well, he did step out the chain, but nothing happened. Rivers, yeah, but that's before Mr. Vane's is waiting for an express, express rifle cot. Hey, doctor, technician, you mean he's planning to murder the two of you? Rivers, not me? I wouldn't be. Mm, it wouldn't be too surprised. I don't suppose there's anything you could do to stop the process now. Did you know it's too late? Chambers in transition now. Look, you, haven't you better g- get out of here before he kills you? As well, there's no point in running. Mr. James Ferry is right. We're both dead. In, for, we've been both dead for 85 million years. Might as well wait and see what happens. Transition, transition point coming up. As well, well, it's quite well, well up to world up to this it's been quite a world up to this point oh james roger roger dismayed yes quite transition here it comes sound big explosion roger ready are you right rivers you don't seem to be what happened transition time trip it's back we better get it open hatch unlocked and open tension grass in horror rivers good lord look at it roger grass isn't it where did it come from 
Whether they're not sure, but I rather think it came from the middle Cretaceous area. It wasn't there a moment ago. Roger, ghastly, mean mess. Look at it. Every bone is paralyzed. Every blood vessel bursts. Whereas I dare say it was this big, that big gun, all right. As he's gonna write, it's James, no doubt of it. There is. Alright, so that's the story, Mr. Sigmund. Of course, I don't understand the mathematics, but the idea is rather easy to grasp. Somebody has shot us when we first emerged, 24th of April, 85 million BC. So, of course, it couldn't be changed. If an instant Jane started to do something, anything, it would make a paradox. The science time forces snapped him forward and ripped him to bits. Well, that's, you know, a good deal, but you know a good deal about and now here's a safety margin is fifty hundred years or five hundred million hundred years between each trip you can't have paradoxes you know this isn't done you see i'm like most i'm a lot, a lot more careful now i shouldn't have taken james when there's no what a sport on stable sort we had he was oh this has to be a, even when i saw that you're too small to shoot a dinosaur man. With the heaviest gun, he probably had knocked the dinosaur down and saved his own life. So, Mrs. Schwarzenegger, Singenegger, then, that's why I don't take you to the period of the hunt. I'm sorry that you were just too light. You're just not big enough to handle a gun for a dinosaur.